What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It is uh, Monday, March 28th, 2022. It's about 10.18 a.m. California time. Latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a uh, 2.9 earthquake over here around the Mediterranean area. Seeing a little swarm of activity, including some twos and threes overnight in that region of the world. Let's go ahead and check out the latest data here. Uh, on the USGS map, first we'll check Yellowstone just right off the bat. Not a whole lot going on in the Yellowstone department. Um, not really seeing too much in the way of earthquake activity. Things kind of mellow in that area of the states. If we back out here, look at this. Not a whole lot to report here um, on the USGS map here when it comes to earthquake activity. Um, as far as the largest, at least the latest somewhat large one, a 4.7, just off the coast of Japan at 58.1 kilometers into the uh, Japan Trench. But other than that, look at this. Very quiet throughout the Philippine Plate and down through the uh, Fiji Islands area. Only a handful, not even a, a, just a couple quakes here. Around the Banda Sea of 4.5, that one's pretty deep at 152 kilometers. And the Tonga uh, Trench area seeing a uh, 298 kilometer deep 4.6. So things are kind of on the... Uh, kind of on the standstill temporarily i'm sure things will ramp up no doubt here soon 5.1 in the south sandwich islands uh, a noticeable somewhat noticeable earthquake uptick along the peru chile trench uh, over the last few days or so it's been relatively quiet but even these three little earthquakes here being reported into the south america region are not uh, not really super active not that big of a deal when it comes to the uh, earthquake potential here in the South America region, 4.4 at 243 kilometers, so pretty, uh, pretty minimal, but a little bit of uptick compared to the previous days seen. Ecuador, 5.4 and a 4.9. Puerto Rico area still seeing uh, some movement up here along the Puerto Rico trench. We've seen a backing off of activity here along the southwestern portion of the Puerto Rico area. Uh, now seeing an uptick in movement towards the Puerto Rico trench up here with quite a few threes kicking off there, some of it deep as well, around the uh, escarpment area up to the north of the Puerto Rico Trench region. Uh, eastern part of the country here in the States, let's go ahead and pull up the all magnitudes map here to see what we got. Uh, a little bit of activity overnight. Uh, this is South Carolina, I believe this one was from late last night. Uh, they did see a little bit of movement this morning here, a little bit further south of 0.9 uh, near the uh, North Charleston area. Somerville region 0.9 at 2.9 kilometers. Uh, New Madrid zone pretty quiet. Looking at the Texas activity kicking up here a little bit around Pecos, Texas once again. Although nothing uh, spectacular, just a couple twos and a three in the mix. And uh, some scattered activity out and about in the Utah region. One little earthquake over here around Colorado, 2.2. Uh, uh, most of the activity. And minimal at that is kind of just kept over here along the west coast. Although one notable quake over here did kick up around the Salton Sea area. Look at this, zooming in right here. We got about eight earthquakes or so um, in the Salton Sea area. The largest so far at 3.0. We've kind of seen a swarm of buildup last night. And then a couple somewhat larger uh, not large quakes but a little bit larger than these microquakes kicked off this morning with a 2.4 and a 3.0 this area right here is the brawley seismic zone it has been known for quite a bit of swarms in the past we'll see if this turns into a swarm right now eight earthquakes not going to really call that a swarm unless this thing really gets uh kicking here but uh three point uh three point three right largest because where that came in as a 3.3 earlier maybe it did get uh knocked down 3.0 in that little cluster of quakes. Uh, movement up and down the San Jacinto Fault Zone with the uh, 1.5 being the latest earthquake there in the Southern California region up here in the Ridgecrest area. Uh, some earthquake activity, nothing spectacular, just some microquakes it looks like and some activity stretching across the San Joaquin Valley where they're getting a nice soaking of rain today. They uh, definitely deserve it because they've, uh, they've been uh, kind of hit and miss here all winter. Up here in Northern California, we got a little bit of rain as well, but nothing uh, spectacular. These guys getting the uh, the brunt of the low pressure system coming in today. Uh, let's see what else we got. Nevada, some movement around the Mina, Nevada area. A couple ones uh, and some smaller microquakes in the area. 
Uh, let's see, one little earthquake up here around the Mount, uh, just northwest of Mount Lassen, 1.7 near Viola at uh, 4.7 kilometers below the surface. Cascadia looks pretty quiet here today. No quakes being registered on the map. Mount St. Helens quiet as well. Uh, Mount Rainier, a little bit of activity showing up on the map. Let's go ahead and check out the latest map here from the PNSN network just to verify uh, seismic activity. I know it is Monday. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe the coffee's running a little slow or a little weak. We'll see if these guys are reporting their earthquake activity out there on the seismographs today or not. Uh, stand by for just one second while these things load up. Sometimes these guys are a little slow at, at uh, accessing their data. Uh, maybe, maybe not. A little on the odd side. There we go. Alrighty, so yeah, we got uh, we definitely got some earthquake activity kicking up here. See all these little spikes here, folks? Those are earthquakes. There's a lot of them uh, over the, it looks like overnight uh, and some this morning as well. Pretty good handful of earthquakes at uh, Mount St. Helens. At, uh, let me double check, make sure this is the right date, right? 28th UTC time, yep. So, uh, uh, yeah, there's definitely some earthquake activity taking place here. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map uh, as far as the all magnitudes go. So maybe they will be reporting these as the coffee continues to <laughs> pour through their veins, hopefully. Um, yeah, there's numerous quakes here, folks. You see these red, black, blue? Those are all signs of uh, microquakes. Nothing nothing large, no, mar no uh, volcanic tremor or anything like that, no magma movement that I can tell, but uh, definitely some earthquake activity taking place overnight for sure. A good handful, probably more than a handful of quakes there in the Mount St. Helens area. The previous day uh, can, is not found. Look at that. When you go to the 27th, we're not able to access that. Uh, the uh, the viewer there. So let me just double check here. I, we check this one, right? That is the. Let's go over here to this one. See if we can verify the data we're seeing on the seismograph station we just looked at. Of course, it's going to do that, right? So now we can't access any of this. All right, well, we see it on this one for sure. It's got the earthquake activity popping up right there. So definitely uh, just remember this image, folks. I'm going to keep that up for a screen capture uh, to kind of show the activity that's been ongoing there. Uh, it just sucks I can't uh, go back the previous day, but uh, earthquake activity, it's there. It's open. Accessible to the public right now. Let's move on here. Um, yeah, you just never know, folks, with these uh, with the agencies here. That's why I like to check the live data on the earthquake activity. It's microquakes for now, but still, it's ongoing activity. Stuff that needs to be reported. Uh, let's see, Hawaii. There's not. Well, we got a couple earthquakes up here. Southeast region uh, looks like about 16 earthquakes or so on the Big Island. Some movement around Mauna Loa. Some very shallow earthquakes there. A couple low-grade twos and an upper one. Very shallow movement. No major swarms to report. This is all typical movement down here on the southeast region of uh, Big Island. And as I said, the uh, rest of the rest of the world looks pretty quiet. Uh, 4.3 in Greece earlier. Of course, there's that South Sandwich Islands one, but uh, man. Things a little on the uh, quiet side. Earthquakes Canada. Let me refresh this. I'm pretty sh pretty certain that uh, it's quiet up there as well. Look at that. One little earthquake over here in the uh, Riley Brook area. Looks like 1.9. That one at uh, five kilometers. But overall, over the, even over the past couple days, it's been very uh, very quiet in the Canada region. Uh, solar weather is kicking back up. We did have an M flare ramp up directly at us, a uh, long duration M flare. Not showing it uh, on here. It says no noteworthy events detected. That means uh, this site here is not really monitoring their own data, but uh, had a pretty good M flare. Looks like maybe a one, uh, not for sure exactly what this kicked up at, but it's long duration, directly earth related. You can see the uh, the, uh, let's pop this up here, the D, D layer 
absorption map here. Look at this. We're really ramping up here in the northern hemisphere. Highest frequency affected by the absorption rate. This is all this is all um radio communications and whatnot being affected. Could be a uh, low frequency navigation systems. Uh <clears throat> excuse me, let me grab some coffee real quick. So yeah, that's probably from the uh, Um, from the M flare that we experienced this morning, here's a little, I shouldn't say little, it's a pretty much a entire uh, reading of the absorption map and what it all means and, and whatnot. Um, so go check it out. This one's actually pretty cool. It's from the Space Weather Prediction Center. Uh, gives a, a pretty good introduction on the uh, data there that they use and what it affects when we see these high uh, absorption rate numbers. Uh, back and out of here, these guys look like they've upped their uh, sea flare potential to a 90% chance with an M flare at 35, but uh, I think that's going to crack a little bit more. Looks like we're almost breaking into another M flare currently, um, and I'm pretty certain that it's going to be from this sunspot right here, 2975. Although this 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 whole area right here is just a large dynamic setup. Look at these sunspots here, pretty crazy looking. If you got a uh, backyard telescope with, uh, of course, the solar f filter on it, right? You got to make sure you have a sun filter uh, so you can look at the sun. Obviously, don't do it without it. That's that's for sure. Um, there's uh, some large sunspots. I'm sure you'd be able to see with a solar telescope. Kind of seeing. Uh, yeah, look at that data coming in. There's definitely a. Uh, see what this one was here kind of hard to tell the exact unless they have it up here let me see if they have it maximum c9 it might be this one but i could have swore this was up into the m range so we'll see uh We'll see what they put this at. But in, anyway, over the past couple hours here, definitely seeing a heightened crackle. Looks like something's about ready to flare up here from one of these sunspots as it's kind of stepping up, getting stronger. And uh, I'm sure we'll see this thing kind of ramp up a little bit here from uh, uh, a couple of these sunspots. Looks like that one's starting to flare up here. That's going to be sunspot number 2975. The uh, complexity of this system is highly set up here for a uh, pretty good size flare. And of course, definitely earth directed. Coronal holes, not a whole lot facing us. Um, I don't think we reached the uh, G1 class storm levels last night. Looks like it leveled out here around K, uh, the index, KP index of about four. So, uh, you know, sometimes these things kind of. Uh, pan out sometimes they don't but I'm sure this will change as we get uh, things cooking and these sunspots crackling let me see if uh, space weather has anything uh, different on here get this up here here we go couldn't see there um, what do we got here So here's a little article. There's that sunspot I was just showing you there. Uh, looks like a lot of things just happened all at once. Sunspot 2975 erupted, uh, producing a major, oh, there it is, major M4 class solar flare. So the other site is a little bit behind. I knew it was an M flare. Definitely reached up there in the category. Uh, the blast propelled a solar tsunami through the sun's atmosphere. You can see it rippling away from the blast site in this movie. Look at that, pretty crazy. Uh, the tsunami was radioactive. It's rippling, leading edge beamed radio waves towards Earth. Uh, looks like uh, some radio bursts was received at the 56 uh, hertz, megahertz uh, level. Yeah, crazy. I was definitely uh, Earth directed. So uh, we'll see how this affects Earth here. 
uh, see if it does amplify the conditions as we uh, head on into the uh, the days ahead but uh, definitely this solar flare here is very capable produce or this uh, solar sunspot definitely capable of uh, popping off some uh, further further flaring uh, and could be next you never know could see an upper M maybe a next flare these things are looking pretty dynamic there for sure uh, let's jump out see what else we got going on across the world not a whole lot like I say earthquake activity things could ramp up here though with this uh, uh, elevated solar weather activity we're seeing I wouldn't doubt it last time we had a uh, pretty significant event uh, kind of kind of uh, we had all that earthquake activity remember here uh, oh, a couple weeks ago I can't remember what ramped up but we had some pretty large earthquakes so we'll see what happens in the in the hours and days ahead with this ongoing solar weather activity folks so, all right, have a good day. It's Monday, unfortunately, right? The dreaded M word. Uh, at least it's raining out here in California, so I'm kind of happy about that. Kind of uh, getting a little bit of moisture in the air, keeping things a little bit greener because we definitely need it. So 3.1 just coming into the uh, uh, New Zealand area on the Earthquake 3D globe. All right, folks, stay safe. We will chat you guys a little bit later on. Uh, have a good day.